hello there chums it's the end of the month which means i'm going to be doing a bit of a channel overview and what's planned for next month and so forth and so on so yeah let's just get on with it shall we so first up is the round of thank yous and support and all that sort of shenanigans so let's head on over to this console and let's hit that up so execute a mondo kapow so I've had a lot of support through Super Chat this month, so I want to say a massive great big thank you to everybody that supported me by way of giving me a Super Chat or a Super Sticker or donation via PayPal or whatever. So thanking you for supporting my channel that way. It means a lot. And those who bought merch or, or, or at this cards. And I want to say a massive great big thank you to all my YouTube memberships. Now you can see there that there's a lot of people that rejoined. The reason they rejoined is I moved the upper tier and I've added in a few new tiers. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube membership, Now's the time to check it out because the, the price has been greatly reduced to get your video, that way get your name at the end of my videos and things like that. It's almost in line with Patreon. So there we are. Please go check out my um, YouTube membership and see if there's something there for you. If you enjoy my content, you want early access, it's probably the best place to be. And you get to use emojis in my chat. And here's all the people that back me over on Patreon. So thank you very much, Patreon backers, as always. Thank you. Excellent. Eh? Thanks. Okay, so that's the round of thank yous, and I just want to say a massive great big thank you to all those that supported me through the uh, upper tiers that have now been removed from Patreon and also over on uh, YouTube for the 3D printed devices, well, items and things. They have now all been dispatched, so yeah, thank you very much, people. So hopefully they're going to be winging their way to you in due course. Okay. Anyhow, next up we've got the uh, spotlights, the actual spotlights out in the verse. Now, I've been helping out Kurt Lawrence, the maker of the uh, No Man's Sky Assistant app, and we've added community spotlights in there. So rather than just putting them up on the screen here, what I'm going to do is just say pop on over to the No Man's Sky Assistant app and check out the actual um, spotlight over there. I'll show you where it is on the app. So here we go. Let's hit up that. Executor Mondo. Go. <laughs> So here is the No Man's Sky Assistant app and from the main screen there you can just go into Community Spotlight and under there are all the things that have been brought to Kurt's attention, mainly by moi. I mean he adds a few things in there, I add a few things in there and between us we both sort of look after it. So yeah, you can see there there's some, some awesome content to go hit up. Go check out that. Okay, so what's happening on my channel? in the next month or so. So, next month I was supposed to be covering off Cyberpunk 2077. And I said, should have been. Um, it's been delayed again. Yeah, it's been delayed. So, yeah, that, that's that's not going to be on my channel. That, that's not going to be on my channel in November. They're now saying the 10th of December. But there is rumour circulating the internet and on old Reddit feeds and pretty much everywhere else that people are saying it might even be delayed till early next year. But we shall see. We shall see. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to appear on the 10th of December, like they're suggesting. But they were saying that that date of the 17th of November was locked in and wasn't going to change, or 19th, whenever it was. Whenever, If you watch one of the Night Cities, you see the date. And it was there in black and white. And they said that they're not moving from that. However, in the last episode of Night City Wire, they spoke to a dev that said that you call in your vehicles just like you do in The Witcher when calling in your horse. But sometimes that vehicle may appear on a roof. And I was like, seriously, we're, we're like a, a month away and vehicles are still appearing on roofs. So it did make me wonder. I did, I did think to myself, hold on, that, that's a little bit worrying. But then at the same time, I thought, well, maybe it was just an over-exaggeration, a bit of a joke. Um, but maybe it was real. <laughs> Who knows? So, yeah, I'm not going to be covering um, Cyberpunk 2077. Sorry, chums, but uh, it's completely out of my control. I had nothing to do with it. Heck no. But, yep. Yeah, I have got Valhalla coming, so that's freaking ace. Valhalla, Assassin's Creed, mind-blowing shizzle, and it's looking great. It is looking good. I mean, some of the bits, I must admit, are a bit iffy. You know, like uh, when you battle a wolf and you've got to hit it like 60 times with an axe for it to freaking die. That's a little bit, that's a spongy freaking wolf, you know? Especially since most of the Vikings are walking around in wolf pelt coats. You think, well, that's a lot of freaking work that's gone into tailoring those. Anyway, so yeah, I'm looking forward to Valhalla, but at the same time, I've never played an Assassin's Creed game in my life before. And it's very different to what I'm used to, as well as sci fi. It's, yeah, somebody said to me, look, I, I will buy it for you if you do a first impressions and a review of it. So I'm going to at least do the first impressions and a review and if I do really enjoy it I mean it's got base building and settlements and stuff so it's got elements that I do enjoy and I do like Viking lore and all that sort of shenanigans and the story that goes with all the Viking lore 
epic stuff. So yeah, if it's got a lot, a lot of that in it, then I, I will be into that. If it mentions all the Viking gods and stuff, that, that'd be freaking cool. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it grips my attention. But yeah, so I've got that in November. Um, I've also been doing some 3D modelling over on Tinkercad, and I think I'm getting okay. I've actually modelled my um, Anvil of Destiny, which, yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, I'll show you. I'll show you what I've done on Tinkercad. Let me um, let me just jump over to a little panel. Let's just hit that up. So let's uh, go over here and execute them on there. Go. Okay, jump. So this is Tinkercad. Now, Tinkercad is used in schools across the country pretty much it is quite a basic sort of rendering package it can't handle a great deal of polygons but it's great for a beginner it's great for someone like me that just likes to tinker i think that's why they called it tinkercad because it it's not a full-blown sort of 3d graphics application by any stretch of the imagination you can see there what i actually did is i actually made this in separate parts and then brought it all in and uh, yeah, I've deleted all those scratch pads now and just got it as one complete object that I've grouped. But I'm really impressed with what I managed to pull together here. I mean, this took freaking days. Awesome. So yeah, so now that I've removed those upper tiers over on my Patreon and also on my YouTube membership for Christmas boxes for next year, and I'm not doing the 3D printed items anymore. The main reason I'm not doing 3D printed items anymore, chums, is if I am to cover something like Cyberpunk and I do start getting subscribers for Cyberpunk or other sort of games, or Valhalla even, you know, 3D printed items, they might not want No Man's Sky. They might have no interest in No Man's Sky whatsoever. Heck no. So, you know, then it becomes a, a trouble of trying to remember who Who's Cyberpunk? Who's No Man's Sky? And all that sort of stuff. It just it would become crazy. Also, my 3D printer has started to lose its quality because my 3D printer is a couple of years old now. You know, it's a mechanical device. Like everything, it's, it's going to wear down a little and the quality isn't going to be as high. So, yeah, what I'm thinking is I'm just going to do 3D prints when I can do 3D prints. And the ones that are really cool and looking great, I'm just going to stick them on eBay because I'm making all my own models now. So yeah, I can actually sell them. So if I put them on eBay and then to all my members on Patreon and also on eBay, I'll share that link to them as soon as it goes live on eBay. And then I'll probably share the link on, um, uh, you know, in my video descriptions or whatever for everybody else, uh, maybe just before the auction is going to close, like within 24, 48 hours or something to give people a bit of a heads up, you know? So yeah, that's that's pretty much how I'm going to do it, I think. And then people can bid on it if they want it. You know, that sort of stuff. Well, a lot of it I do buy it now, so and seven-day listings. So my members will probably get first dibs. So that's that's pretty much it, how I'm going to handle that one. And, uh, uh, yeah, all the tiers that I've got now on YouTube have been reduced. Um, so, yeah, uh, check them out. Take a look. And, yeah, over on Patreon, I will be deleting the upper tier as soon as I've had confirmation that deliveries are starting to take place. Because as soon as I delete that tier, I might lose the address details and things. I can export a list. I'd export a list. And I'm going to delete that upper tier um, pretty much in the next couple of days so yeah all good all is good okay, and everything people, is on track well, i have a channel goal my channel goal is to try and hit 10,000 views before christmas and i think i might need your help with this one so yep yeah, if you know somebody that's just picked up no man's sky and has given it a bit of a go maybe send them my channel link that would be awesome i very rarely ask people to share i ask people to like and subscribe but yeah I think word of mouth is probably the best sort of advertising one can have. So, yeah, if you've already done the liking and subscribing and you want to support my channel in some other way, other than, you know, you know, joining memberships and Patreons and all that lot, the best way you can help my channel is by just sharing it. So, yeah, do that. That'd be fantastic. So, yeah, hopefully that's something you can do. If you can, fantastic. That'd be brilliant. So I want to say a massive, great big... Thank you to everyone who watches, likes, shares, and does all that shenanigans. You're all freaking awesome. So thank you very, very much. You're all, you're all my personal heroes, each and every okay, one so of you. At this point, Heck I yes. normally do a bit of speculation, but since we've just had the, um, you know, the whole thing with next gen dropping, it, it makes me wonder. Well, is it really worth putting out any speculation at the moment? Because we know what's coming. We know what's coming in November. I mean, it is already there. But what I would say is the weekend missions are sort of drawn to a close at the moment and we've been given this sort of half measure for getting Quicksilver off the actual abandoned freighters and Sean Murray in the last patch notes did say it, 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 for the next couple of weeks we're going to be able to get Quicksilver that way.
So I honestly think that when we get the new patch for next gen, mid-November, I think it's around the 10th actually of November, that hopefully we get the patch and the next gen crossover, because it says at launch, and that's when the consoles launch in the US. So I'm thinking that patch will come live around that sort of time, and I'm hoping it's going to bring in the old method of getting Quicksilver and bring back those weekend missions. That'll be freaking sweet. That deserves a little air grab. Weekend missions, maybe. I mean, that is speculation. I mean, but I am joining dots, and I know that's freaking mind blowing stuff, and some people don't really like speculation, but that's my speculation. I mean, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, and that's always the worry with speculation. It is what it is. But there we go, that's pretty much everything I've got for you, speculation wise, because, like I say, we've had an announcement before ahead of schedule, which is fantastic, and I wish we had more of that. It would drive down speculation a little, yet I love speculation myself. Anyway, you guys out there in the verse, you've been freaking awesome for tuning in i mean i know this is a bit quicker than in previous months but it is what it is and i'm hoping that we're going to have the nexus lounge back at some stage soon and uh, yeah it'd be awesome to jump on there and hear people's thoughts around next gen and stuff like that but there we go that's everything for you you guys have been freaking ace and i'll see you again soon take care for now goodbye goodbye well, goodbye thank you very much for watching this video and if you like what you see please hit a like or a subscribe and yeah or you can support my channel through patreon here are all my patreon backers banking you patreon and i also have youtube membership if you want to sign over to youtube membership check out my video links in my video description i also have merch grab yourself a fine and dandy pair of socks a mug or a t-shirt over my merch store or i also have atlas cards that i sometimes have my ebay store check out my video description so that is the end. Thank you for watching and please hit a join or a subscribe or just hit one of these tiles on the screen as you see here now. Stay with Captain Steve for a bit longer.